Hi, I'm Joe James, and this is the first video in my series on trigonometry. In this series, we're going to learn techniques for solving triangles. By solving, I mean finding unknown sides and the measures of unknown angles. By the time you're done with this series, you'll easily be able to look at a triangle and figure out all the unknown sides and angles in a triangle. Each video is going to be a short video on one technique. If you're preparing for the SAT or ACT or some other standardized test, this series will definitely help you prepare for it by learning how to solve triangles in the math part. So let's get after it. Let's learn our first technique, which is sum of angles. The first rule we're going to learn about triangles is that the sum of the three angles in a triangle always add up to 180 degrees. Now some of the rules and techniques we're going to learn only apply to certain triangles, such as right triangles, but this rule applies to all triangles. So for every triangle you'll see, the sum of the three angles is always going to be 180 degrees. Let's see how we can apply that to solve some problems. Now in this problem number one, we're given a right triangle and we have to find the measure of angle B. A few things we're going to notice before we dig into the problem. First is this little square thing down here. So this indicates a right angle. So a right angle is a 90 degree angle. So we can conclude when we see that little right angle sign that this angle measures 90 degrees. The next thing we're going to notice is that the angles are denoted with uppercase letters typically for triangles. And sides are usually denoted with lowercase letters when there's a variable. So now we know what these two angles measure, 35 and 90, all we have to do is find what angle B is. Since the sum of the three angles is 180 degrees, we can subtract the two known angles from 180 to find B. So B equals 180 minus 90 minus 35. And when we subtract that, we get 55 degrees for angle B. Here's another practice problem for our sum of angles. Given the triangle below, find the measure of angle C. So we have a triangle that has measures of angles 67 degrees and 82 degrees. To find C, again, all we need to do is subtract the two known angles from 180. Since the three angles add up to 180, we can do 180 minus 82 minus 67, and angle C measures 31 degrees. I hope this video was helpful for you. If so, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel. I'm Joe James. Thanks for watching.